Are you ready? Six rounds of light heavyweight interstate boxing. Would you welcome in the blue corner from Sydney, Stephen Ma. And would you welcome in the red corner, Mitch Middleton Clark, Big Country. So definitely, the doc? so definitely now the back hey, end of the hey, back hey. end of the fight card, the semi-main event between Mitch Middleton Clark and Stephen Ma. Mitch Middleton Clark in the red corner. He's only 24 years of age and he's coming up against a veteran from Taiwan in Stephen Ma. Yeah, Stephen Ma. He's uh, 19 fights all up, seven wins, two KOs, 11 losses, but never been stopped. Okay, Stephen Ma, as Jordan ready? said, tough, tough, durable opponent. Fight. Mitch Clark coming back from a year out. He had that big IBF Pan Pacific title win over Clint Allerton in an absolute humdinger of a fight here at the Pavilion. So interested to see exactly where Mitchy is. He's looking fit, Jordy. Yeah, he definitely is looking uh, fit after his layoff. Uh, considering he fought um, in March of last year, he's uh, looking in good nick uh, heading into this fight against the granite chin in Stephen Ma. Has never been knocked out before, and uh, the big question will be: uh, Can Mitch Middleton Clark uh, knock him knock him out for the first time in his professional career? Well, Stephen Mars been in with the who's who of middleweight boxing in in Australia. Mark up Wes Copper, Tesh Tesh Singh twice, who's who's uh, from Jerry Murphy's gym here in Surrey Hills in Melbourne, and of course former Australian champion Jake Carr as well. He fought Tesh Pratap Singh twice, Stephen Maher. It went uh, split decision both times, so he definitely uh, brought out the best in uh, Tesh Pratap Singh. But tonight, he's got a different task against uh, a young guy, uh, 24 years of age, Mitch Middleton Clark. And Middleton Clark's a southpaw. He definitely looks to look for that left hand, that straight left hand. He's very lethal from Mitch Middleton Clark. He loves to work the body and then also come up top. But uh, he'll look to stay on the outside. One thing about Stephen Ma is he'll look to be on the inside and uh, sort of let his hands go on the inside and uh, work the body of Mitch Middleton Clark. Yeah, just there. Uh, both fighters just uh, feeling each other out here in the opening. Yeah, definitely in the opening stanza, both fighters are uh, feeling each other out. But uh, I've watched a few of uh, Stephen Mars' fights over the, over the years, and uh, one thing he does, he walks forward, stalks his opponent, but sometimes he leaves his hands a little bit low, and that's when he can really get counter-punched by a good-quality fighter. The big question will be, uh, how's Mitch Middleton Clark going to go after his long layoff? Uh, we know he defeated Clint Alderton for the IBF Pan Pacific light heavyweight title. That was back in March of uh, 2017. So it's a long layoff. How do you reckon he's going to uh, be in terms of ring rust? Yeah, look, there might be a little bit with sharpness wise. And, but look, that, that'll that go after a round or two. You know, once he gets a couple of rounds under his belt, he start settling into his groove. He starts seeing openings in Matt. He start pulling the trigger. You've got Stephen Maher in his corner. Uh, you've got uh, McIntosh, who is his trainer, and uh, he's from Taiwan. So born in Taiwan, Stephen Ma in the navy blue and sort of yellow lining. And uh, in the um, in Mitch Middleton Clark's corner. So Mitch Middleton Clark, sorry, in his corner is the, um, is, uh, is the shadow boxing uh, crew down there. So on the front, 10 seconds left in the round. And the southpaw both in the centre of the ring against the orthodox fighter in Stephen Ma, trying to let go with his uh, left hand there uh, in Mitch Middleton Clark. But Stephen Ma just willing to come forward and take time away from his opponent there. And uh, the corner there, McIntosh in the corner of uh, Mitch Middleton Clark will definitely uh, talk to his troop there and try to get his troop up for round number two. That was more of an assessing round. There's a victory and he'll just be telling Stephen Ma, maybe just keep doing what you're doing, kid. Keep moving that head, just keep stalking Mitch Clark back on the back foot. Maybe just shoot to the body a bit. Seconds 
two, scheduled six rounds of boxing. Getting oh. underway here in the second round. Stephen Ma and Mitch Middleton Clark and uh, McIntosh are watching uh, with uh, quite intent over his troop there in Mitch Middleton Clark. He wants to get his boy to let, really let his hands go against the granite chin in Stephen Ma, who's just willing to come forward. That's what he does. But uh, one thing, he's never been knocked out before against good quality fighters, as you mentioned, the likes of Wes Kappa and Tej Pradup Singh. On that occasion, though, a nice right hook there, a handy right hook there from uh, Mitch Middleton Clark. And uh, he'll be fighting again in, um, in, in December. Uh, for a, maybe a, a strap, so uh, it'd be quite interesting to see how he goes against Stephen Martin and progresses from here. Yeah, well, he needs to get the victory first here tonight before he can think about putting any straps around the waist. And once again, he's just touching, touching Stephen Ma upstairs and then delivers a big straight left on the pipe. And that's what we're on about again, that straight left hand that you alluded to earlier, Jordan. It's a rifle of a left hand, and he's caught Stephen Ma there just before. And uh, Stephen Ma, those punches aren't going to phase him too much. Maybe over the course of the fight, this is a um, an eight, sorry, a six-round matchup between these two uh, compatriots or fighters against one another. So uh, there's still a little bit of time here to wear him down, Stephen Ma. But one thing he, one thing he's very hard to do against Stephen Ma is wear him down over the course of a fight. He just remains upright and uh, really doesn't taste the canvas too much. Stephen Ma just willing to come forward. Uh, that's probably his uh, money punch, that right hand. That uh, short right hand on the inside is his money punch he likes to use, as well as that left hook that he'll look for uh, on a number of occasions. At the moment, uh, both fighters not landing too cleanly with one another. And if you just joined us on Fox Sports, Stephen Ma in the navy blue with a yellow trimming and Mitch Milton Clark in the grey shorts. Yeah, Mitch Clark boxing very well for a guy once again, as we said, he's been a year out of the game. He went back, back home to the big farm. I know he's back in Melbourne trying, trying to establish his boxing career here with Team Ellis. And so far, a nice cagey start here by Mitch Clark. We haven't really seen him throw his signature bombs. That straight left down the middle. He hasn't thrown it yet, but uh, he's been smart in his work. High boxing IQ in this fight. And uh, both fighters, I think as the fight goes on, uh, they'll exchange blows with one another. But at this point in time, very smart work from um, the opponent here in uh, Mitchell Middleton-Clark against Stephen Ma. And the referee in the ring is Ignatius Michelides, one of the most experienced referees in Australian boxing. And this is one trend that's going to happen throughout the fight. You'll probably see uh, Mitch Middleton-Clark backpedalling and Stephen Ma coming forward. So he's more of a counter-puncher in this fight, Mitch Middleton-Clark. There's a left hand that he lands there in the last 10 seconds of the round. Stephen Ma willing to exchange. But look at those bombs there thrown by Mitch Fields on Clark. Yeah, that's better by Clark. And a smile at the end of the round. He knows he got through with a couple on Stephen Ma. And that's the, light, that's the pressure I'd like to see coming from Clark a bit earlier in the round. But he's just gradually moving through the gears. Just shaking off that ring rust. And I reckon we'll see a big, big round three from Clark. Of course, Clark's only losses coming to that, that classic split decision loss to Clint Dollerton, which he avenged the following year, which was, was his last fight. And of course, that first his first loss came to Jade Mitchell, top Australian super middleweight. These are some of the exchanges. There's a left hand there from um, Mitch Milton Clark. Didn't connect too flushly there with his opponent there in Stephen Ma. There's the body shots and then the right uppercut on the inside, followed by the left hook. But going to get ready for round, num round number three here between these two fighters. Stephen Ma, the veteran at 33 years of age against the 24-year-old, still young gun in Mitch Milton Clark. Bright future ahead. A stiff jab there from uh, the early exchanges in this third round from Stephen Ma. There's the left hand, the cannon of a left hand, but it doesn't connect too cleanly with his opponent, Stephen Ma. Now he Watch goes to the body. There was, was a bit of a, there was a, bit of a clash there. Right. Ignatius Michelides charge, right? and Mitch Middleton okay. Clark. Fight. So definitely the toughest fights of his career, Mitch Middleton Clark were against Clint Alderton and also that Jade Mitchell fight. But uh, he exacted, he got revenge against um, Clint Alderton uh, last year after that split uh, decision loss back in 2016. Yeah, certainly where it brought him to T Borders, Clint Norton. It was an absolute cracker of a fight. It could have gone either way. It was a split decision. And he's, he's, 
He's come on an awful lot since that is Mitch Clark. Two big, big wins after that. Third round KO of Stephen Kennedy. And then he revenged Clint Dollerton with a fifth round retirement from the man from Geelong. And tonight, he's just starting to move through the gears here. And Stephen Maz just beginning to feel the pinch, I think, of the, of the Mitchell Clark punches. Yeah, definitely. I think he might be feeling the pinch a little bit. But uh, you're well conditioned down there, um, Stephen Ma, a veteran. And uh, you look at Mitch Middleton Clark, he's had 12 victories in his career with 12 KOs. So he definitely demonstrates his uh, power in his fights with a uh, 100% knockout ratio in terms of his wins. Yeah, just a little nick now on the inside of the left eye of Stephen Ma, just under the left eyebrow. It's, going to, it's on the inside as well. So it'll run down the inside of the bridge of the nose. If that gets any worse. Ignatius Missalidi is going to have to keep a closer look on that one. The big bombs coming in now from big countries. He steps up his gears. And they're big, big exchange on the ropes. And this is the big difference in an experienced fighter like Mitch Clark. As you see some of the, some of the, the, the fresh boys, he's not falling in on his exchanges on the ropes. He's keeping his feet planted on the ground and he's just... Weaving through his hips, he's transferring his power from one foot to the other, and he's keeping his distance well. Fantastic stuff there by Mitch Clark. Yeah, that's definitely the, the difference, uh, you know, from a few years back. He definitely go in on the inside and really unload, but uh, very smart there, high bo boxing IQ, as he's learned over the years. But uh, Stephen Mayer, he got caught by a couple of uh, clean shots there, but uh, came roaring back with a few sh shots of his own. So he's not going to go down without a fight. And uh, we can see that in his, uh, you know, he's never been or never tasted the canvas or never no been knocked out before. And those were really savage punches there from uh, Middleton Clark. The last victory of Stephen Ma, that was, um, you know, it was a big victory against Manny, Manny Vlanis, and that was back in 2015 for the Vic State Light Heavyweight title. So that's uh, one of his main honours, Stephen Ma. Yeah, big, 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 big upset victory there that night. I was there that night, and he he certainly uh, it certainly went against the grain, but he was fantastic that night, and it was just tough durability walking forward, and it just gradually wore Manny Vlanis down over, over, the, over the eight rounds. He's not going to be able to do the same thing tonight because the Clark movement's been so good as we can see here with the exchanges on the ropes. He just pushes Ma back with that double jab and lands the straight left down the middle. Each time it's that it's the Clark jabs that's just setting himself up beautifully. It's setting him up perfectly for some big shots there. And uh, he's looking a little bit uh, to the body now, uh, Mitch Middleton Clark. But uh, Stephen Ma was on the ropes there, and let, well, Mitch Middleton Clark was landing some clean blows there. But uh, but the distance, the distance, Jordy is just brilliant. It's just fantastic. The way he just controls distance all the time, and then he's finished his combination, steps up, and stops Stephen Ma from from countering. Definitely smart work there from Mitch Middleton Clark, and uh, both fighters into the center of the ring now. Can Stephen Ma continue and uh, maybe go the distance? against Mitch Middleton Clark, that's the big question because we know the firepower from Mitch Middleton Clark's gloves, especially that left hand that uh, really he has in his repertoire. So Ma now on the front foot trying to find a punch but uh, not really uh, throwing too much as of yet. Then Mid Middleton Clark tried to unload a left hand but uh, good evasive skills there from Stephen Ma, the veteran in the navy blue trunks if you just joined us on Fox Sports. Yeah, big swing and a miss there from Big Country, but he lands flush with that one. Stephen Ma takes it well. And his boy is tough, and he Jordy, he just lands a little short, little left hook on the inside as well. But Clash giving him plenty to think about, and he's just beginning to get a bit red in the round the face now. Stephen Ma, he's reading up a little bit there. Stephen Ma, uh, he made his, um, or he's had one fight in 2018. That was against Adam Copeland in ACT. He lost that via unanimous decision. So he's only had uh, one fight this year, uh, Stephen Ma. And uh, don't forget that Middleton Clark's been out for some time. So uh, they'll be both happy to get back into the centre of the ring on this uh, sort of big time event here. This is a semi-main event just before the main event. Mark Schliebs and Robert Trigg for the Australian Bantamweight title. Boxing skills here. Middleton Clark, there's a snappy jab that he uses on Stephen Ma. And he'll look for that straight left hand down the pipe, that rifle of a left hand that he really has in his cabinet. He yeah, tried to... The jab has been fantastic tonight by Clark. He's really just controlled Stephen Ma. Even when on the back foot, he's been jabbing, moving, controlling the distance. 
If you just joined us, uh, this is a light heavyweight bout. So we've got some good quality light heavyweights around uh, the Australian scene. The likes of Damien Hooper, Blake Caparello has decided to jump up from light heavyweight to cruiserweight. You've also got Renault Quingland, Regan Desai and Trent Broadhurst. There's some big names in the light heavyweight division. And if, uh, you know, Middleton Clark keeps winning, well, he might be, uh, you know, fighting some of those guys in the near future. Yeah, he'll be too far away from them at the moment, to be honest. He might get another few rounds under his belt before he steps off, but he certainly consider himself up there with the best of them. Both in the centre of the ring now, and Stephen Ma doesn't shy away from anyone. He just has got the confidence to keep coming forward. He's fought some of the best in Australia, and, uh, you know, Middleton Clark isn't going to phase him too much. He'll take those punches, no worries about it. Try to, try to use his length there, Middleton Clark tries to stay on the outside, try to keep Stephen Maher away. That's where Stephen Maher really has success on the inside and uh, using that raw power that he has on the inside. Oh, stop! Time! There's time there and uh, Stephen Maher knocked out, knocked out the, um, the mouth guard of uh, Middleton Clark, uh, no, 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 so there'll be a little no, bit no, of a stoppage here. So both boys back in. Not long left in this round. Ah, beautiful again by Clark, controlling the distance Fight. very well. And that's another round to oh, Stephen Maher just gives Mitch Clark a little nudge, but none but a big smile on big country. And um, another polished performance by Mitch Clark, and he's he's looking like he's never been away, Jordan. Yeah, Mitch Clark. It doesn't seem like he's been away for a, you know, a year and a half. It seems like he fought maybe uh, two months ago. He's looking very, very sharp tonight against a good quality competitor. And uh, you st we still got the fifth round to come and the sixth round. So plenty more action here as well as the main event. But uh, Middleton Clark uh, will be very pleased. His corner there, uh, McIntosh will be happy with his troop in, uh, in uh, Middleton Clark. Round number five, about to get underway here. And uh, this is a war at this point in time. Round number five, so we're getting towards the back end of this fight. And uh, this is where it's very, very important for both fighters to sort of finish strongly. Yeah, fifth round now, Stephen Ma will figure he's gonna get Anton out of this contest. He's gotta really step up and move the gears and we put the pressure on Mitch Clark. The problem there is he will play into big country's hands. He's a very, very accomplished counter-puncher and a very, very strong counter-puncher. He's showing that tonight, as we just saw with that sort of uh, slight left uppercut there, but uh, he's been a Victorian super middleweight champion and in his last fight he claimed that IBF Pan Pacific title in the light heavyweight d division. So there's some of the honours there of uh, Middleton Clark. What's the back of here? What's the back Stephen of Maher, as we said, was a Victorian champion and uh, he won that against Manny Vlanis in the light heavyweight division a few years back in 2015. So both fighters, a little bit of pushing. pushing okay, and Michelidis is warning Stephen Ma there. A left uppercut on the inside, connected there with Stephen Ma, but not too much uh, pepper on that against Stephen Ma. Nah, it's just, it's turning into a bit of a workout now for Clark. I think he's doing this nice and easy. He's creating his own little angles. Don't push down on him, don't push down on him. One thing is, I think he learned a lot from that Clint Alderton fight uh, back in 2016. He was a little bit wild and rash in that fight. Uh, you know, getting that sort of uh, split uh, split loss there, but then uh, came roaring back in the rematch to get the victory. And he learned a lot in that fight, uh, you know, getting a victory in the rematch. Uh, you know, he's very smarter in the way he went about his work. High boxing IQ, and I think he's really going to push on from that. And uh, who knows, he might go up the echelon in the light heavyweight division and come up against some of the big dogs. Yeah, as I said earlier, he, he'll consider himself up there with the best of them, and he'll, he'll keep climbing. He's a fighter. And he loves it, he enjoys himself. It's not too often you don't see Mitch Clark not smiling in there. And rare from a fighter who usually just so switched on, but he's so happy and relaxed in there. And you can just see him now, he's just, just going through the motions, moving through the gears, but when he lets those hands go, he's absolutely devastating. There's the left hand there. Caught Stephen Maher slightly, but Stephen Maher's been hit with bigger punches and uh, he's always firm Stephen Maher. He never tastes the canvas too much and uh, just continually comes forward. He's an exciting fighter, and uh, one of the best fights I've seen was uh, Jake Carr against Stephen Ma. He provided, his, you know, provided a stern test for Jake Carr and uh, really went with him for the, uh, for the long fight. So the Taiwan boy there in uh, Stephen Ma, not a boy anymore, 33 years of age, a veteran on the boxing scene in Australia. 
against uh, Middleton Clark, who's still relatively young at 24 years of age. He's got a big boxing career ahead of him. And uh, this is an important fight coming against an experienced opponent. He'll learn a lot from this fight. Ten seconds left in the round. Boxing nicely here, um, Middleton Clark. And his corner, McIntosh, will be very satisfied with that round. And we're going to get ready for round number six, but a good fifth round there from Middleton Clark. Yeah, another thoughts, one in the bank once again, just controlling it with his jab, his distance, his footwork has been sublime. Ray McIntosh will be very happy. The boys just be happy now just to get the rounds out. They'll keep boxing. They'll see this one through and move on to the next one. But all in all, they'll be very, very, very pleased in the red right corner. And once again, you can just see him controlling the distance there, Mitch Clark, making man miss. He knows where he is each time. Never. So now we're getting into the most important round here. Stephen Maher, Rick Brees had a few words there to Stephen Maher and said, um, you know, go on the front foot and really take this fight to Middleton Clark and give it your best effort. The big question will be, can he land those uh, clean shots on uh, Middleton Clark? Because what he's doing here tonight, Middleton Clark, is boxing uh, very, very nicely. Goes to the body. Goes to the abdomen region there. Middleton Clark landed on uh, Stephen Maher just before. And now Stephen Maher continually comes forward in the red gloves. If you just joined us on Fox Sports, this is a light heavyweight matchup. The semi-main event on Team Alice Fight Night. Big card, and we've still got the main event still to come for the Australian bantamweight title between Mark the Magic Man Schliebs, and he's coming up against the champion in uh, Bobby Trigg from South Australia. So back to the action here, and he's just uh, controlling with the jab there, Middleton Clark. Even if he's on the back foot, he's controlling. Yeah, he's been fantastic on that back foot, and as I said earlier, it's just it's all about the jab tonight. It's all about the jab, moving off the jab, check hooks. He's been fantastic, and he's, ne he's never been in trouble, so he's been allowed to do it. He's been allowed to just dust off the cobwebs and get on with it. The Ma family, very, very strong family. You had uh, Yao Yuma, also uh, his brother, face uh, Joel, Kam Joel Kamakeo Kamaliri. Uh, they fought each other uh, twice, and uh, Kamaliri won the rematch uh, to gain the Victorian Super Welterweight title. But uh, Yao Yuma and Stephen Ma are very strong, uh, strong fighters and uh, well-conditioned. So Ma on the front foot there, tries to fire the right hand to the abdomen region of uh, Middleton Clark. And Middleton, Middleton Clark's just happy to be on the back foot, sort of be on the defense, but, uh, you know, continually push the jab and score those punches. He doesn't have to go there and try to knock out Stephen Ma. It's very hard to do. He's never been knocked out before. Never nah, look, you're, you're not going to knock Stephen Ma out with a sledgehammer. You know, he's, he's been with some big, big punches in the past. He's been with Marcus Saab, maybe one from, from Victoria, who's just a massive, massive puncher. Uh, puncher. And he, you know, he, he, he lost the majority draw that night, and that was a big, big effort from him. And, um, you know, and, and tonight he's shown his durability, big country. We've seen, him, we've seen him put a lot of people away in the past, but he's happy just to box and see this one out. He's going to learn a lot from this oh, fight. But Stephen Ma, yeah, back to that fight. War of attrition against uh, Mark Kassab. That was on Hosking Promotions a couple of years back. Kassab um, won that night, but um, Stephen Ma really provided a stern test, as he does for all fighters, as he's doing here tonight against Mitch Milton Clark in the grey trunks. But for me, if I have to analyse his performance, you know, out of 10, I'll give him an 8 or a 7 for uh, Milton Clark. It's a, it's a handy performance against an experienced fighter in watch Stephen Ma. Watch it, watch it. Five seconds. Yeah, look, I, I've seen I've seen Stephen Ma livelier than this. I've seen Mitch Clark over there. But both fighters, both fighters are fighters who have to be drawn into a fight. And when they are, they, then they let their hands go. But both lads are just happy enough sort of to sort of stand back and just and, and box off the back foot and, and that's a, that's the display you get to the, from now on from that. But good solid performance there from Clark Year old. He'd be happy with that. Ray McIntosh would be happy with that. Then boys will just move on to the next show. Yeah, coming into the match, I probably thought that this was going to be sort of a firefight. Both boys sort of letting their hands go, but it proved to be different. And uh, it was a tactical performance there from uh, Middleton Clark against an experienced campaigner in Stephen Ma. And uh, we're just going to wait the final decision. Judge Brett Manton had it. Dead even, 
Overruled by Andrew Campbell, 58-56. Chris Moxon, 59-55. Majority points winner, red corner, Mitch Middleton Clark. Oh, there you have it, folks. Majority decision there by Mitch Clark, and I thought he had it a bit cleaner than that myself. I thought he boxed very well off the back foot. Re correct decision, regardless of the scoring. And um, I think, um, yeah, he, he, he just controlled the fight from start to finish with his job. Stephen Ma, for me, never even, never even made Clark look in trouble, and it was good, good, polished performance. Stephen Ma looks a bit upset. I don't know what he's upset about. I think he did very, very well there. The one judge gave him a draw.